A recent study by IDC shows healthy adoption of backup as a service among organizations today. According to our demand side research, 38% of organizations are already using backup as a service and 64% use or plan to use cloud-based backup in the next 12 months. Backup as a service is growing because traditional backup approaches are increasingly falling short. As the number of virtual machines in customer environments grow, customer processing infrastructure does not scale to meet IT demands. Also, customers are aligning their business objectives with aggressive recovery expectations that cannot be satisfied by internal resources. Meanwhile, protecting distributed or endpoint data is becoming more challenging, especially as the security and compliance requirements for this data increases. As, the, as a result, customers are embracing cloud backup with Gusto. The benefits of cloud services are significant and include cost savings, time to market, user self-service, standardization of IT services, and elastic scaling. And companies like EMC can help customers move towards backup and recovery in the cloud based on their requirements and objectives. There are three fundamental approaches to backup as a service that customers can take advantage of today. The first approach, called remote backup services, is ideal for customers who don't want to manage any local backups at their physical site. Instead, they want to leverage dedicated network links to perform direct backups over a WAN to hosted backup environments. This environment is managed and administered by the service provider. Remote backup services are often used for remote and branch office data or serve as a service for lower tier applications or endpoint data. The second approach is called hosted backup services and is well suited for firms already using hosted infrastructure services. It's often a natural evolution to continue to use the same service provider for hosted backup services. The hosted application infrastructure might even be owned by the user and managed by the service provider, or the hosted application services could be part of an infrastructure as a service offering. Either way, customers can see firsthand how the service provider handles events, how it communicates results, and satisfies SLA objectives. The third approach, replicated backup services, is a more effective means of disaster recovery. With this type of service, Customers already do local backups at their physical site, but they don't want to own, manage, or incur the expense of a remote site for disaster recovery. Replicated backup services offer a secure, reliable alternative to tape collection services. Or a customer may realize they need a disaster recovery strategy that addresses catastrophic site failure. For this approach, a service provider delivers a replicated backup service on a leveraged or shared grid of storage or backup platform. IDC expects customers to continue embracing a range of cloud offerings for backup and disaster recovery. Many storage workloads offloaded to the cloud consume great amounts of internal IT staff time and capital budget without adding to a firm's competitive advantage. For these reasons, coupled with compressing recovery time objectives and tighter SLAs, secondary storage workloads are optimal candidates for backup as a service. Solutions for backup as a service range from software to backup appliances. On the backup appliance side, we track a market called purpose-built backup appliances, where EMC has a number one market share leadership position. Moreover, on the software side, backup as a service should include capabilities like data protection software, client-side deduplication, and centralized management and reporting solutions. EMC has a broad portfolio of products in these areas, and firms should look for a technology partner that can help select and deliver backup as a service based on workloads and use cases. Enterprises considering leveraging cloud backup, as well as service providers that are considering building out and offering cloud backup and recovery capabilities, can read our recent white paper, Backup as a Service, Approaches and Advantages for Service Providers and End Users, which can be found on emc.com.